From my heart and from my hand, why don't people understand my intention? Hi, my name is Michael Sout and I'm the chemist here at No Toil Industries. It's my responsibility to develop new products and to optimize existing commercial products for No Toil Industries. I'm a degreed chemist with a background in fats and oils chemistry and I've got a background in the chemistry required to tackify resin systems and oil systems. Met Bob Jensen about eight years ago and we worked together quite closely that entire time. And one of the things that's always been at the top of the list in terms of improving the filter oil is to take out the alcohol, which is a flammable VOC, and it has the negative aspect of only being able to be used in no-toil filters because it degrades foam, but more importantly, it degrades the bond line. And to get that out and replace it with water. And so for the last two and a half years, we have developed, worked on, taking what's great about no-toil, and that's a, its ability to be washed out and its biodegradability, and to put it in a water base. And so we've been successful doing that. And that's the product that you know as Evolution. You know, one of the challenges of the new formulation is the fact that water evaporates at a slower rate than a volatile organic compound such as, such as ethanol, such as alcohol. And so I'd like to talk a little bit about what that means to you um, and how we can deal with that. You know, in the paint industry for years, paints were solvent-based and they dried quicker. Well, because of the regulatory issues related to these volatile organic compounds, the paint industry has gone, gone almost exclusively to water-based. And that's, that's what we're doing here. We're making the change to water-based. So one of the negatives, or perceived negatives, can be the fact that it takes a lot longer, in some cases, especially with high relative humidity, for the water to evaporate out of the oil. Now, you guys are familiar with the classic oil. The alcohol evaporates off 30 minutes or so. With the new evolution, um, it's a little more challenging. The water is going to take longer to evaporate off, and it's going to take a little bit longer for you to see the oil actually tack up. If you're out riding in the desert and it's hot and dry, boy, you're probably not going to notice any difference at all. But if you're in a cooler, moist environment, it's probably best to allow those filters to sit overnight for you to be absolutely sure that you're ready to go in the morning. Hey, it's pretty obvious when you put this new formula down on a filter that it looks quite a bit different than the original. And you know what? It's going to look different because we're taking the base oil and we're combining it with water and that produces something that looks very, very different. One of the things that's kind of interesting about an oil and water mixture is it actually takes on a white base. This is Evolution with water still in it. And this is an example of the filter oil once all of the water has evaporated. And what you can see is it goes from something that's really not light transmitting to something that you can see through. And you can see as you draw your finger through it, you got the thick, tacky, no toil base that you love minus the water. But you can rest assured that after this water flashes off, you've got the same exact formula that you've learned to love with classic no-toil. Okay, so we've driven off the water and uh, we've accelerated it. You can see that the color now has changed from a whitish base to a, to a, a darker, richer green. And that's one really good indicator to know that, the, that the, the water has flashed off. And at this point, boy, it's just the, the same old real tacky no-toil base. Let's talk about what makes no-toil great. First of all, this stuff is really, really tacky. It's going to keep dirt from getting in your engine. It's just tackier than petroleum distillates. It's just the, the facts. But maybe what makes no-toil even better is how easy it is to clean. There's actually a chemical reaction that goes on I mean, this product as it stands right now is completely resistant to water. But we, in the presence of the no-toil cleaner, it makes it water soluble and completely biodegradable. It reacts with the no-toil base oil and it does what's called a saponification reaction. It actually becomes a soap. These two, these two materials together create a soap. They generate a soap. It's like washing your hair. When you're in the shower, you suds up, 
it's going to pull all that dirt out. Same thing's going on here. It's not a soap yet, but when you combine it with the no toil filter oil cleaner, this becomes a soap. It becomes completely biodegradable, just like shampoo or bar soap would be when you're taking a shower. And that's why you can get this filter so clean. Because basically what you're doing is you're making a soap out of all of the oil that's on this filter. And then it just carries the dirt that is accumulated on it with it down the drain. My name is Michael Salad, and I'm the chemist for No Toil Industries. And I was given the challenge to make the classic No Toil Red Oil better. We created evolution and it is better.